Another week, another round of Velma bitching and complaining because she is an entitled cunt that is never at fault for anything she does, and she fails to be funny because the writers of the show are complete fucking idiots and should never work in Hollywood ever again. I wouldn't even trust them to work at McDonald's after seeing this shit. Nine tenths of the show is Velma complaining about her life and blaming other people for her problems, with the mystery being dead last in priority for the show. These characters would rather bitch and moan than stop a serial killer and and they don't seem to care about innocent people dying, because if it doesn't involve them, they don't give a shit. It's next level narcissism. Episode 5 is about Velma losing her sim to another woman and trying to get him back, not because she likes him or anything, but because he was useful to exploit. Whereas episode 6 is about Velma blaming her dad for all of her problems, and yes, it's as boring as it sounds, and even worse to watch. So let's jump into the cesspit they call a plot. Episode 5 starts with Shaggy not responding to Velma's text, and she starts to overreact because she realises that her meal ticket is leaving her. So she asks her dad for a ride to school. If you just walked, maybe you wouldn't be so fat. He refuses to give Velma a ride because he has to go to the hospital where his girlfriend has just given birth to his new daughter because he has to take pictures for her OnlyFans. <laughs> At school, Velma enters the marching band room, and immediately she starts looking down at the other members of the band. I can eat three slices! <laughs> Charlie did Don't roll your eyes at me. Where exactly does this arrogance come from that she thinks that she's better than them? You're a fat, ugly loser, Velma. In fact, they are better than you, as they don't judge other people and are just trying to have a good time. The speaker goes off and the mayor says that the police have resigned because they have been experiencing sexual harassments from the attractive women in the school. What are you, gay? He announces that there will be a curfew tonight and if people break it, they will spend the night in jail. We cut to Daphne, who is not in school because she has to find her biological parents. Why? How fucking self-important do you think you are? You're not some sort of princess from a foreign land. I'm so fucking important, right? Daphne heads to the mines and is immediately grabbed by someone. Just think how stupid Daphne is. So because somebody threw a geode through her bedroom window, a geode that comes from this mine, she believes that her biological parents threw it at her. Most likely it would be the serial killer. That's fucking stupid! So the people who grabbed her say that they are her real parents, but won't show their faces for some reason and instead tell her that her lesbian parents stole her as a child. They then tell her to Google the Crystal Mines guy. These freaks have offered zero evidence and are dressed like fairies. Why would you listen to anything they say? We cut back to the school and we find out that Black Shaggy has decided to serve a new queen. So Velma has to go and find a new sim to use. And she decides it's Fred because he has been brainwashed by a book on feminism. He then tells Velma that her mother's disappearance had something to do with a doctor who died years ago. A female neurologist. You don't need to say female, Velma. You can just say neurologist. Ah! You see, as much as she pretends to hate men, she hates that Fred has turned into a male feminist because nobody likes an ally. Ironic. Fred tells Velma who the woman is that Shaggy is simping over. At first, Velma is fine with it because she still thinks that Shaggy will do whatever she wants. Maybe. I should spend less time with you. Velma just straight up admits that if Shaggy was not useful to her, she would never speak to him. Less time? But I only see you when I need you as is. Velma is annoyed by this and storms off with Fred, who is her backup simp, and she decides to take him to a historical museum to rein him in. Places like this help Skip Gates learn which white actors are descended from slave owners. And since you can't see, I should tell you, I'm rolling my eyes. Inside the museum, they find out that her mother was investigating the scientist who lived at Fred's house before he did, but then starts to hallucinate. Quick, make me laugh like Norville would have. I, I would, but all I can think of right now is the gender pay gap. Christ, who wrote this? This show is shit. Not even so shit it's funny, just god fucking awful. Is it funny women make 20% less than men and women of color even less? Yes, it is, Fred. I find it fucking hilarious. Any other retarded statements? Or can we move on with this terrible show? Later on in a diner, Velma is unhappy with Fred as her current simp and wants Shaggy back as her slave. So her goal is to not investigate the murderer who is still at large, but instead to get Shaggy to break up with his new girlfriend. You loathsome fat, ugly.
ugly bitch. Thelma's plan is to invite the marching band, which Shaggy is a member of, to a sleepover at her house. In case you didn't notice, Velma is a cunt. Fred shows up at her window and wants to be her simp again, so she tells him to go and get pizza and he could not agree fast enough, as he has lost all of his self-respect. We then see Daphne googling the gang and she learns that these fairies were also thieves as well, so the very first thing she does is try to go to Velma's house to brag about it. You know if Daphne had an actual personality and hobbies, then she wouldn't be this desperate to brag about her parents being criminals. Velma ignores her and takes Shaggy upstairs, and now that he is isolated, she coerces him into helping her again. Gigi, who is correctly suspicious of Velma, decides to join the marching band to spy on Shaggy because she knows that he is easily manipulated and has zero self-respect. A bunch of boring shit happens until Velma begs Gigi to let her use Shaggy, as Gigi is in a much more stronger position to control Shaggy as she is willing to suck him off, which Velma would never do. Velma then gets Gigi to admit that the scientist she is looking for is Shaggy's grandmother. She then demands Shaggy tell her what he knows, but he says that it could destroy his mother's reputation. Your mom's a high school principal married to a guidance counselor. It can't get more ruined than that. There's that Velma charm again. She insults his mum by calling her a fucking loser. You fucking bitch! The marching band members then start to turn into animals, because why the fuck not? Everything else in the show is retarded, so they have to go out and get some food, and Fred suggests that they steal a police car. Well, that's just silly. Silly, yes. Idiotic, yes. Velma then manipulates Shaggy into driving them to the restaurant. I couldn't expect you to do this for me. Oh well, it was almost a good idea. Guess my house will just get destroyed. Why are you the way that you are? Velma has to be the biggest cunt alive because it's bad enough that she uses him whenever she feels like it, but she is also making him directly take responsibility if they are caught driving the police car, which is Grand Theft Auto and is a very serious crime that he could go to prison for. I'm not doing this because I'm simping for Velma. This is all you have ever been doing. There is nothing more to your character than being a pathetic groveling loser who does whatever she commands. I'm simping for myself. How embarrassing. We have reached peak retard because he is trying and failing to convince us that being a slave to Velma is not simping, but is actually a good thing for men to do. So they make their way to the back of the restaurant and begin dumpster diving for their meals, and Shaggy Virtue signals in front of everyone. I want to write an IOU for the food. I mean, if we don't support a small business owned by a woman of color, who will? An IOU is not money, you fucking idiot. This is what everyone who Virtue Signals does. He had zero intention to help her, he just wants to be seen doing so, just like every other cunt who Virtue Signals. They are then spotted by the police when Velma, who tries to one-up Shaggy, also tries to Virtue Signal as well, and says that she is willing to sacrifice herself for them. Oh my god, who the hell cares? It's one night in jail, stop acting like you're Jesus Christ, you sanctimonious cunt. This then happens. <laughs> this one act alone makes the sheriff the best character in this show. So Velma spends the night in jail, and when she gets home, she learns that Shaggy is back to being her simp again. Oh right, I forgot. Daphne meets up with her parents again, who just repeat what we already know, which is that they are criminal fairies who hide in a cave. I don't give a fuck. And that's the end of episode 5. That was awful. Episode 6 starts off with a narration from Velma saying that everything wrong with her is her parents' fault. But when it comes to truly crappy parents, no one beats my dad. You know something? You disgust me. Velma says this because her father is paying attention to his new daughter, who Velma never acknowledges or even tries to help out. Velma, just how much of a bitch are you? You should be grateful that he hasn't thrown you out onto the streets where you belong. On the way to school, Fred pulls over and offers to give her a ride. Now, usually Velma would tell him to fuck off, but she is impressed by what he can buy and agrees, but Fred's father correctly tells him not to let pigs into the car. Have you heard of inner beauty? That's a myth you fool! Thank you! 
The problem is that Fred's dad only tells him off when what he really should do is beat him senseless, otherwise he will never learn. Velma arrives at school and because of a contrived reason, which was that she was in the same cell that Shaggy's mother was dressed like somebody who would be visiting Prince Andrew, so Velma agreed to keep her mouth shut in exchange. She would tell Velma about her scientist mother. She says that her mother was able to keep the human brain alive, but the military wanted to use her research by putting adult brains into the body of teenagers so they could spy on hippies. Right. Guess what the initiative is called? The Special Covert Operations Brain Initiative, or Scooby. Fuck off. So her mother went crazy and ended up in an insane asylum. Playing God, removing brains, that's some white people shit. There has not been a single episode of Velma where she is not making a fuck white people comment. She is obsessed at this point, which just goes to show how jealous she must be if she has to mention it every episode. You're actually a pretty good detective. Shaggy's mum is licking Velma's ass as well because simping must run in the family. They then try to show Velma the secret, but she passes out twice. This is nothing more than filler to pad out the episode and waste even more of our time. Velma Velma then comes to the conclusion that her father is at fault for why she hallucinates. I hallucinate because I have daddy issues. Get some real problems, Velma, you narcissist. She goes on to insult Shaggy. The thought of having any issues with my own sweet, sweet daddy is foreign to me. Even though he's the one who basically taught you to be a beta? And then we see his dad being a cook. We're helping your mom's old boyfriend move. Shaggy is definitely not his son and is most likely her ex-boyfriend's kid. And Shaggy's mother has gotten this loser to raise someone else's bastard, just like Princess Diana did with Harry. We cut to the mines and Shaggy's dad shows us just how much of a moron he is by loudly whispering, Not a word about why we really need her until we know we can trust her. They are further away than she is and it's a cave. The echo from his voice will be heard by everyone. I expect nothing. And I'm still let down. They tell Daphne that they are selling bullshit crystals to people, but end up betraying her as they wanted to use Daphne as a hostage in case her lesbian parents try to arrest them. This fails and they end up getting arrested anyway, but the Asian woman gets away until she is murdered. We then see Velma having dinner with her dad at a strippers club. Wait, isn't Velma supposed to be in high school and is underaged? Did these writers fly on Epstein's plane? Velma tries to bond with her dad. It will make it so much easier to kick her ass out when I find mom. She is your sister's mother. What the fuck is wrong with you? This is yet another example of her treating anybody who is not useful like the shit on her shoe. Velma bumps into Fred, whose dad is taking him to all of the strip clubs. Is now trying to normalize my brain back into thinking girls like Chestiny here are hot. Oh, you're a great dad. As he should do because you have been brainwashed by feminism and now think like a retard. Fred is then dragged away and Velma jumps on a strip pole to get her father's attention. Velma's dad then decides to go on activities with her all day, which makes Velma happy until she finds out from Fred that he only hung around with her to get more time to do work. She is pissed from this even though it's a mutual win-win situation, as you both got what you wanted, but Velma's enormous ego doesn't like the fact that her dad would not want to waste all of his time on her, and instead want to work to earn enough money to pay for his newborn girl. So Velma goes to his place of employment and tries very hard to embarrass him and get him fired and Velma doesn't care because of course she doesn't she's a monster she runs off to school and tells Shaggy's mum my hallucinations were caused by my desire to make my dad love me but after today he's dead to me you vile hag because god forbid Velma is not the center of his universe as she is just one part of his family that need paying for so Velma learns the truth that her mother went looking for the lab and afterwards decides to go to Fred's house she does not ask for permission and instead just barges in like the entitled bitch she is Fred and Velma head to the basement and of course Fred is hiding behind her because no male in this show can act like a man. A brick wall falls on them and time passes before they are rescued by Velma's dad. Can anybody just walk into Fred's house now? He's rich, why does he not have any security? Velma's dad says that he tracked her down by her phone, which is bullshit because he was shouting from his car before trying to find her. They head down into the lab and Velma finally stops hallucinating because her dad believes her. Boring! There's also a side story of Shaggy trying to act like an alpha, but he eventually learns that being a weak, hollow husk of a man is what he should be doing. And that's the end of episode 6.
There's mental patients who have smeared canvases <laughs> with shit who have expressed more than you have in that. We are six episodes in and they are only just now starting to investigate the mystery as Velma and her boring as fuck high school life is the priority here. And even if they did focus on the mystery, it's so dull and brain dead to watch that I would prefer to be on a round of chemotherapy than to have to watch any more of this shit. 